Good day, I am Kaysa Nikla of PSN3 and today I am going to perform gastrostomy care. First, what is gastrostomy? Gastrostomy, when enteral feeding is required for a long-term period, an enterostomal tube may be placed through an opening created it into the stomach or gastrostomy or into the jejuno, jejunostomy. Placement of the tube into the stomach can be accomplished by a surgeon or gastroenterologist via percutaneous endoscopic gastrostomy or what we call PEG. Surgically placed, Gastrostomy tube. Peg tube insertion is often used because unlike a traditional, surgically placed gastrostomy tube requires an intact, functional GI tract, and then providing care at the insertion site is a nursing responsibility. And now, what are the assessment guidelines during gastrostomy care? First is assess gastrostomy or jejunostomy tube site, noting any drainage, skin breakdown, or erythema. Next is measure the length of exposed tube, comparing with the initial measurement after insertion. Alternately, the tube may be marked at the skin with an indelible marker. Mark should be at skin level at the insertion site. For the assessment, first is assemble equipment. The rationale for doing this is to have them easily accessible during the procedure. Next is of course verify the medical order. This is to prevent errors in providing nursing care procedures. Miss Princess Jimenez for gastrostomy care. Next is perform hand hygiene. This is to prevent the gross contamination between the patient and a healthcare provider. Please identify the patient. Hello ma'am, good afternoon. I am your nurse attendee for today and you are? Princess Jimenez. Birthday? June 11, 1997. Okay, ma'am, I am going to perform a uh, gastrotomy care. This is to provide a care for you to avoid infections in your gastrostomy. Next is identify the patient. This is to verify if we are handling the right patient. Hello, ma'am. Good afternoon. I am your nurse attendee for today and you are? Princess Emanuel. What is your birthday? June 11, 1997. Okay. Next is explain the procedure to the patient and why this intervention is needed. Answer any questions as needed. This is to give awareness on the patient on what we are doing. Ma'am, I am going to perform gastrotomy care. This is to avoid infection on your gastrostomy. Next is assess the patient for presence of pain at the tube insertion site. If pain is present, offer patient analgesic medication per physician's order and wait for medication absorption before beginning insertion site case. Mom, do you feel any pain? Nothing. After that is pull the patient's bedside curtain. Raise bed to a comfortable working position, usually below height of the caregiver. This is to provide privacy. Okay. Put on gloves. After that is, if gastrostomy tube is new and still has sutures, hold it in place. Dip cotton tip applicator into a sterile solid solution and gently clean around the insertion site, removing any crust or drainage. Avoid adjusting or lifting the external disc or the fast spewders after placement except to clean the area.
If the gastric tube insertion site has been healed and the sutures are removed, wet a washcloth and apply a small amount of soap onto washcloth. Gently cleanse around the insertion, removing any crust or drainage. Rinse site, removing all soap. After that is pat skin around insertion site dry. Mm. Next is if the suture has been removed, gently rotate the guard or external bumper 90 degrees at least once a day. Assess the guard or external bumper is now digging into the surrounding skin. Avoid placing any tension on the feeding tube. Then, leave the site open into air unless there is drainage. If drainage is present, place one thickness of pre-cut gross and pad drain sponge under the external bumper and change. It's needed. To keep the areas dry, use a skin protectant of substance such as zinc oxide to prevent skin breakdown. Skin in the lip. Then, remove gloves, lower the bed, and assist the patient to a position of comfort as needed. After the procedure, perform again hand hygiene. This is to prevent the spread of microorganisms from being contaminated. We are done with the assessment. Planning and implementation, and let us now proceed with the evaluation of the procedure. Evaluation is patient exhibits a clean, dry, intact gastrostomy tube site without evidence of irritation, exploration, or infection. Next is patient verbalized no pain when the ground is rotated. Patient skin without any signs of breakdown. Patient verbalized an understanding of gastrostomy tube care. Patient participates in care measures. Since we are already done with the procedure and evaluation, do not forget to have a documentation of the procedure. February 12, 2022, patient undergone gastrostomy care with full coordination. Gastrostomy tube is new, has a tooth sutures having it in place. Saline solution was used to clean the area and remove any crust and drainage. Since drainage is present, goes for those placed onto the area.